Um, and again, the point is we want to keep making light that's more and more particle-like. So it's got a lower wavelength so that um, we can put the bits closer and closer together without worrying about this blurring. All right, let's see if that helps us with the question. So we're using red versus blue, huh? All right, well, uh, I guess he would give you that in the test. So what, what's the information you're looking for? So you compare the wavelengths and put it into that. Yeah, so I will just tell you by looking at the answer key that the wavelength of the red light, um, take a guesstimate. What, what, do you remember just guesstimate, where is that? Uh, do you know what's the spectrum of visible it's light? It's different end, so it's in 700? Yeah, uh, actually if you just put it in the 650 nanometers, but it's close to the 700 end. And then the blue light is at the lower end. Do you remember what the lower end is? Yeah, but that would be violet. This is a little bit above that, so he put in 470 nanometers. I, I don't. I hope you wouldn't expect you to have that memorized. But anyway, you could kind of guesstimate it if you know it's from about 400 to 700 or 750 is visible light. All right. Um, all right. So those are the wavelengths. So what do we do with those numbers? So now. Uh Well, kind of, you could, if it's just by what factor, mm -hmm. I mean, you could just divide those. Isn't Let's go for it. Just proportional to it. By what factor can you increase the density? So we want a number that's bigger than one. Uh, so we want to increase the density. So we want a number that is uh, bigger than one here. So we get the 1.4. Just to see a little bit more mathematically where this is coming from here, what he's really asking you for, remember that the, the density is based on the thetas. The smaller theta is, the more dense this can be. So he's really asking us to compare the theta for the blue light versus the theta for the red light. We want to compare the theta for the blue light uh, versus uh, the theta for uh, the red light. But you can see from this formula over here, So the key thing is, this formula has sine of theta in it. But remember, for a small angle, sine of theta is approximately the same as theta. So we can use our small angle approximation. For a small angle, sine of theta is about the same as theta. So that tells us that theta is proportional to lambda. That's the key thing here. Theta is proportional to lambda. Well, if the theta is proportional to lambda, that means the ratio of the thetas is, uh, comes from the ratio of the lambdas. Ratio of the thetas here, um, and this would tell us that theta for blue was smaller, 
But when you have a small theta, that means you have a high density, right? The smaller the theta, the higher the density. So then to uh, interpret this, I guess it would flip the fraction and do 650 over 470. All right, so the key idea is sine of theta is proportional to lambda. So for a small angle, theta is proportional to lambda. So if we can figure out the ratio of the lambdas, we know the ratio of the thetas, and that also tells you the ratio of the densities, because theta basically tells you the density. Uh, that's basically what he did in his uh, little uh, answer key here, except kind of cryptically. So the spreading of light depends on this. This is the limit on how they can be placed. Theta can be reduced by making lambda smaller. OK, so we've basically gone through uh, the concepts here. So you basically whip out an equation like this um, that tells you that the, uh, basically the spacing between the dots depends on lambda. The key, so to summarize, the key point of this formula is the spacing between the dots, and therefore the spacing between the pits, is proportional to lambda. So if you want a smaller spacing, you need a smaller lambda. And the ratio of the thetas is the same as the ratio of the lambdas. OK. So you were saying at first, it was hard to see at the beginning even how would you, how would you know um, that this was a diffraction problem. Well, it's only by knowing all this background that the key limiting factor in all this uh, recording technology is this diffraction limit. Okay. 